All right, good morning everyone and thank you for joining us here at James Way's webinar Wednesdays. For everyone who is new, and I think I do see one or two new names there, uh, all your controls are located in the upper left corner of your screen. And there you're going to find several buttons. The first is your audio and video settings. You can use those um, basically to modify your audio if you're having some problems there. Then there is a Q&A button. We'd like you to use that at any time during the webinar to enter any questions that you would like us, the panelists, to answer for you. There's a chat section. You can use that to send us notes either just to the panelists or to the entire group um, for clarification on something. If you're having some problems in terms of signal, I would love it if you could let us know there. Um, and then the final button is a raised hand. You can use that if you have an immediate question that uh, you'd like us to answer. Um, so everything is up there that you should need today. I am joined today by Ava. Uh, Ava has been with us for eight years and she's in our IT group. Um, she first came to us as a student actually, so you know she's pretty awesome since we've kept her on. <laughs> And Pilar has been with us since 1995. Uh, she is with me in the customer service department, and I'm sure many of you know her and have spoken to her over the years. And I'm not awesome. Oh, she's the oh, best. She's not <laughs> awesome. She's the best. She is the best. <laughs> um, and if you've had an install, you know she is the main support system for our technicians, and they all really appreciate her. So, uh, Ava and Pilar really have been the uh, leaders in this online parts website development. Um, and that is what we're here to talk about today, is our new online parts website and sharing it with everyone. So we do have a poll that I'd like to throw up um, and get everyone to answer just based on what, uh, what locations you're in because our website is slightly different depending on where you're located in the world. So Krista's going to go ahead and pop that up for us in just a second. We'll give it about 30 seconds for everyone to answer and then take it down and share the results with you. So if you can just check off which reason, which region you're part of, that would be great. All right, so I think we have a fairly diverse group there. Uh, some Canadians, some internationals, some Americans, um, some people here at James Bay. Thanks for you guys watching <laughs> as well. It's much appreciated. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, Ava. Sure. So thank you and welcome for this uh, special edition of Webinar uh, Wednesday. I know all of our Webinar Wednesdays are very informative and give you a lot of great information about James Bay products and also about industry best practices. But today we are officially launching our new parts website, www.jameswayparts.com. So we've been working on this for over a year now. We had a really concerted company effort. Also, we've had some talented third-party effort as well to get this off the ground. A lot of you may already be familiar with the website as we did do a soft launch uh, where we opened it up to a short list of customers. We wanted to get the website off the ground, make sure that we had everything working properly, getting some bugs fixed. So thank you, a very special thank you to all of those customers who were able to participate in that. That. I know we've had a bunch of clients already sign up uh, with accounts, we've had some quote requests come in, and we've even had a bunch of orders submitted through the website, and we've already shipped them back to you. So um, we're really excited to, to get this uh, out to our entire um, marketing audience as well, and, and having you guys uh, get started on it. So. <clears throat> Without further ado, um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a breakdown of where we're headed today with the webinar. So we're going to cover um, a, a, a range of topics. So the, the website was developed really with three main functions in mind. The first one is a parts reference tool. So we wanted to have a digital space for all of our customers to be able to go to on their time. Um, depend, it could be after hours, any time that they like, to be able to look up parts and, and find the pivotal information that they require um, during their hatchery practices. The second one is at quote request tools. So we know from our business analysis that 
our customers are not all the same in how they conduct their business. Some of you require a quote request in order to create POs, in order to submit orders, uh, spare parts orders to us. So we wanted to make sure that our website was able to have that functionality as well. And so those first two functions are open to all of our uh, markets. You don't have to be signed in to the website. You can use those functions. But this final one, uh, the online parts ordering site, um, that's open currently only to our existing US and Canadian clients. Right from inception, we knew that we were going to open this up to a broader audience. It's just we needed a, a place to start with, so we started off with those two markets. So um, if you are in the international marketplace, uh, please be patient with us. We will be, and we are working towards getting that functionality open for you as well. Um, so again. Uh, outside of those three main functions, we'll also be talking about how to create an account and we'll be showing you the website on a mobile uh, friendly interface as well because when we were um, you know, developing this site, we wanted to make sure that you can use this on the go. You can be looking at it through your mobile phone. If you, in your hatchery you guys use tablets, you'll be able to access the, the website there as well. So I'm just going to pass it over to Pilar to get started with our webinar topics. First one being using the website as a reference tool. All right. Pilar, you would like the website up? Please. Oh, no copy. Thanks. Thanks. Do you have a good illustrated as we're talking? And actually, we can bring up the corporate site. We can show you how to navigate. Yes. Yeah, this is. <laughs> so, uh, if you if you have been on the site in the last twenty four hours, you'll notice that we have a new button that we introduced. So you'll see it in the top right corner there. Or has uh, the cursor on it. It's called Parts. So if you click that button, you will be able to navigate to our new homepage for the Parts website, or you can simply just put. Uh, jameswayparts.com into your URL and you'll be able to navigate there. Yeah. Alrighty, so let's get started. We've all done at some point some online shopping, some more than others, right Tori? Lots <laughs> yes, of online, online shopping. <laughs> I have two little kids. <laughs> <laughs> so our first feature is, yeah, in your looking glass, your search, you can search by part number or a keyword. What would you like me to put in? Uh, let's try PT2426X. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so that brings us to the product itself. All right, so we can have a look at the part, click in on the view part. We have our pictures, different uh, slides of the item. Then we have our specifications tab. It will give you the weight, the length, the width, the height, country of origin, and the HS code, voltage. In this case, voltage not all parts will require this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so the HS code, actually all these um, items here with information filled in is very handy, for, especially for international customers. Uh, for shipping in that. Then we have our technical support. If you have any other questions, if you're in Canada or the US, the numbers will be listed there. So we can also search by a keyword. Tori? What would you like? I don't know, PC board. PC board. PC board. board. PCB board. Give that a try. Then we have all the PC boards used in all our equipment, not specific to one machine, but to all our existing equipment. Which is helpful if you need boards and you have hatcheries, a lot of different PC right, boards. Right, right? right? We have a lot of hatcheries that right. have some multi-stage, some single stage, right. some versions of single stage and multi-stage. And at this point, you could uh, request a quote on this part. 
and it'll be clicked into your quote. Now we also have the feature searching here by specific equipment. So here we'll give you the different types of um, machines. We have our multi-stage conventional space saver, hatch commander, PS501, ACI, platinum incubator, and normal list of hatchers. So if you want something specific to the equipment you have, you would click on there. And then once again, whatever you're looking for, whether it be incubator racks, the cabinet parts, control boards, airflow, you would click on there. And at any time when you're navigating here, you could always scroll down and start looking at the parts themselves as well. Now, if you are in a specific uh, section, let's say where we were at the multi-stage uh, conventional, and you do a search for, let's say, gasket, all the gasket pertaining to all the equipment will show up, not just the one section that you're in. So right. just a global search. Right. Mm -hmm. We also have a feature down the very bottom. Is it this page? Right here. So you go go to the site map, and once again, it's divided with an equipment. It just as doesn't show the pictures of just conventional incubator, and you look at your racks, tracking, cabinets. So a good that's, place to go if that's you're, another way of searching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to quickly quickly get to the sections you're looking Correct. for. Mm -hmm. Yes. And any other features that you can think of well, the searching? So we've also loaded, uh, we not only loaded some active parts, we loaded some of our obsolete parts because we do know that um, depending on, you know, when the last time you ordered, you may be familiar with a part number that has since become obsolete. So what we did is if you search for, let's say, an SMA 106 as Ford, um, what will happen is you will see, you'll see that the SMA 106S has become discontinued, but you'll also see that the replacement part for an SMA 106S is an SMA 111S. So we wanted to make it easy for you to be able to find replacement parts as well. We have a couple other, as you can see, um, Polar, if you kind of show them the, the discontinued tag in the top right corner of the SMA 106. We do have another tag called the soon to be discontinued tag. We don't have any product loaded with that tag currently, but in the future, if we were going to be discontinuing some product, we would tag it as soon to be discontinued. Right. And encourage you, if you are a regular user of this part, to purchase. Yeah, that purchase up our stock. Because then as soon as inventory is gone, then that would change to a discontinued part. Correct. Okay. Okay. Yes. So this site's also very helpful with the keywords. You just want to make sure that the part you're looking for is the one. The picture pops up and you confirm that that's what it is you're mm -hmm. looking for. Correct. So in that sense, it's very helpful as well. Okay, so now I guess we can move on to uh, logging in or requesting an account. So you want to create an account. And uh, just fill in the... Uh, as much information as you can possibly provide us would be very helpful. And at the same time, we encourage you to sign up for a newsletter that provides you with lots of information and webinars coming up, events. Yes. Yes, definitely sign up. Of course, we <laughs> want to see you back here on Webinar Wednesdays. <laughs> and then click on Create an Account, and within 24 hours, um, you'll have an email letting you know that you have been set up to go ahead and purchase to do some shopping with us. So immediately you will receive an email. If we can actually switch back to the presentation quickly. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you create your account, you will oops, sorry. So oh, that, you'll receive a, an email similar to this, uh, welcoming you to jameswayparts.com, letting you know about some of the features of the website. And if you notice down here, um, we do say that um, are you an existing Jamesway customer located in the U.S. or Canada? Um, if you are, then just bear with us because we will be um, upgrading your account to be able to uh, submit orders online as well. So, and once we complete that task, then you'll receive another email from us. 
And this one will just let you know that your account has been set up for online purchases as well. And we encourage you to log in again so that you can see the, the main differences between the changes that have yeah. happened. And we'll um, later on in the webinar be showing you those differences as well. Go back to the online site for a minute, Tori. Yeah, please. I just want to point out that when you are requesting, uh, when you are signing up for our account, so that's the, there, there we go. Here you are in the correct store. So if you're from the US, uh, that would be the site you would be on. If you're a Canadian customer, then you would be requesting your setup account under the English Canadian one. And when you do get your um, confirmation email uh, telling you you're set up, when you do sign in, also you are required to be on the correct uh, store or else yes. it'll just come up saying that your password or your account is incorrect. So make right. sure you are on the correct store. When, when yeah, so if that does happen, shopping. just try try um, making sure that you navigate to the other store right. and then put and then in your login work. credentials and it should work. You'll also notice um, when you that the RUS store is set up with two uh, languages, we have English and Spanish, um, you don't have to be signed into the U.S. store to use the Spanish. Right. You can be a Canadian customer as well. No matter where you are in the world, you can navigate to the Spanish site as well and everything will be translated into Spanish. So if I'm an international customer, uh, should I be signing up under the Canadian store or the U.S. The style US store. The U.S. So it's basically currency, right? If you, if you pay in U.S. dollars, you want to be on that U.S. dollar Correct. store. Yes. And so when we do um, include the international audience in the future, then you'll be set up already on the correct store with right. your currency. Okay, now All right. show them how to shop. Yes. So first I'm going to show you, I'll just kind of go back to English here. Uh, first, I'll show you the cool request tool. So, Flora kind of showed you how you can add parts to a quote, but I will show you again. So, you don't have to be logged in in order to see this quote button, and you can add parts to a quote even if you are not logged in. But we do encourage you to create an account as there are some value added features, um, such as you are able to create a favorites list. So, if you're constantly searching for the same types of parts, you can favorite those. And when you have an account, you have a My Favorites section that you can go and find those parts much easier than if you had to keep searching for them over and over again. Also, when you create an account, any quote that you submit, uh, quote request that you submit, you'll be able to see your quote request history and you'll be assigned a quote number so that you can always reference that quote number when you're um, discussing with our internal uh, inside sales team. So just to show you, so on each of our products, you'll notice that there is an add to quote button. So we'll just add another product there. So it just takes a few seconds to add it and you'll notice that your quote number will continue to go up as you add products to your quote. If you click the quote tab on the top, you will be brought to the request a quote page. Here you can uh, change your desired quantity as required. You can use the plus or minus, or you can simply just backspace and put in a higher number, however you need to. You can, if you make changes, then you should update your quote. And if you want to continue adding parts to the quote, there's no need to um, be scared. You can always just find, actually, let's, let's try calibration tool here in our accessories and upgrades category. So you see that we still have our parts in our quote. None of them have disappeared and you can just continue adding as many products as you'd like to receive a quote from us. So that one has now been added as well. So when we navigate back, we should see three products. So you just continue doing this until you've filled your quote request to the parts that you'd like to see. Then, so, oh, sorry. Ava, sorry. If, uh, you know, if I'm working on my quote and let's say um, one of my machines starts alarming, I have to walk away to go check on it. Um, how long is it going to stay there? How long do I have to come back and actually finish that? 
So if you are logged in, it, it may um, disappear a lot faster than if you are logged in. If you are logged in, it should stay there um, for... But when you're logged in, you don't have access to a quote request, correct? You just, it'll just be your shopping cart. So this is where uh, we have, depending on which region you are in, you will have a different um, experience with our website. So if you are a international customer and you log in, you will always remain with this quote tool and you will continue to use that for the uh, remainder of your account setup. Now if you are in US or an existing US or Canadian client, as soon as we upgrade you so that you can now start submitting orders online, this quote will disappear when you're logged in and you will now see a cart instead. So you'll be, it's the same process where you're adding parts to a cart rather than adding it to a quote. So uh, you're right, Pilar. If you're a, an existing US or Canadian customer and you want to submit a quote, just log out and then you'll see the quote tool and you can uh, create a quote simply by logging out. Right. Um, right, so when we are finished adding parts to our quote, then we have uh, some information that we need you to fill in. So the first time that you fill in the form, it will remember you. So Tori has filled this in before, and so now she doesn't have to retype all of those fields again. <laughs> but yeah, so just let us know your name, your email address, a phone number that we can reach you at, uh, which company you work for really helps us so that we um, make sure that we uh, prepare the code properly for you, uh, which region of the world you are located in. Also, this is very key. Let us know, would you like to have shipping costs included in the quote? This really uh, helps our internal sales team make sure that they get the right information back to you. And anything that you would like to comment on, so if you have any special instructions at all, or perhaps uh, there was a part that you couldn't find online, but you want us to be able to add that to your quote, then make note of which right. part you're looking for, and then that way our internal sales team can, can make sure that that gets added into your uh, quote as well. So once you have finished uh, filling in all the required fields, you will have to click, I have reviewed the products I'm interested in, the personal information I gave in order to continue. It's pretty standard. You can also subscribe to our Jamesway newsletter here as well, and we always uh, encourage that. And then just, you know, very standard, let us know that you are a robot. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then you can submit uh, your quote. What happens now is your quote gets emailed into our internal uh, inside sales team. What they will do is within 24 to 48 hours. Um, oh, oh, okay. So sorry, we just had a little bit of a technical difficulty there. Victoria buys too much. So <laughs> I too much on the online store. <laughs> um, right. So um, yeah. So the email will come in to them within 24 to 48 hours. You will have a response back from them regarding your quote. So it will be a very quick process. And the great thing about this is that you can submit this anytime and as soon as we are back in the office, um, our team, you kind of have a head start because you've already submitted it for us to start working on it. And our, our team will get back to you quickly. For sure. So that is the quote request tool. We're going to move on to the online ordering portion. So I'm just going to go back to our presentation here. All right. Okay. So what? So again, you have created an account. Um, you've given us a, a little bit of time so that uh, Pilar can upgrade you to a, a user with. Uh, credentials so that you can start submitting orders online and just so one last time it is oh this is only open to existing US and Canadian customers to start with once you have once you're uh, set up you'll receive that email and you can log in to see the changes so those changes include previously when we were in the live site you could see that we were uh, quoting now you 
we are actually adding parts to a cart in the top right corner. When you hit that cart, it will load down into a little mini cart so that you can see which items you've added. You can remove items directly from the mini cart, or you can view and edit your cart to make uh, various changes. Maybe you want to add some more quantity. And then another great thing about it is that you will now see pricing. So if you wanted to create a cart, kind of like a going back to the quote tool, right. if, if you wanted to create a, a cart and add all the items that you need to create a PO, because Polar, I believe that's how some of our clients Correct. they get pricing first and then they request their uh, PO from their purchasing department. So right. they leave that information. So you could add all of your product, it'll give you a grand total, and this cart will not change after you log out. Um, it'll stay that way for 30 days. So if you need to walk away and then come back and continue working on it, you can do that and know what your total price is so that you can do your PO request from your purchasing department. You will or place the order yourself. Or place the order, yeah. <laughs> Once you're ready to go, then you can um, continue on with the checkout process. But these are the three main differences that you will see. Um, Just wanted to mention that if you do need to, uh, if you do place an order and you need to make a change to your order, um, you will need then to contact us because you will not be able to do the changes once the order has been submitted. It right. goes directly through our system to our system so we won't be aware of it until if you need to make changes or cancel your order or anything to do with your order, your place you need to call or email us. Right. So to continue on, if you hit that you would like to check out, the first thing that you will need to do is select from the shipping address that we have on file for you. So the great thing when we set you up with your online account is we link you back to our ERP system. So you will see a selection of all of the shipping and billing addresses that we have on file for you today. You can select which one you would like us to ship to. Uh, furthermore, if you don't see an address or if you'd like to ship to a new address that you haven't shipped to before, then we will just simply, there is a new address button. You just click that new address button and a form appears. This is where you would then fill in all of the key information. And once you do that, save address. When you save an address, the next time you log in, you will see this address from the shipping addresses to select from, so there's no need to have to continue adding the same shipping address over and over again, so that's really great. Um, the next thing that you'll do when you're in the checkout is there's a few fields that you can fill in if you'd like. If you have a PO number that you would like us to reference on the order, please fill that in in, in this field here. If you, again, if you have any special instructions, you can provide as much detail as you require in this special instruction field. The final two fields, carrier account number and carrier name, these are reserved for customers who would like us to ship on their uh, FedEx, UPS, whichever carrier that you use. If you'd like us to ship on your account, then just let us know your carrier account number and the name of the carrier that you would like us to use so that we can um, process it that way for you. Again, if you have that information on file with us, we will um, already, we will have that. If you don't fill this in, don't worry. We, are, we do have that information and we will use that information to ship your product. But if you just want to make sure that we're using the right account number, please fill that in for us. It would be very helpful. So then we would like you to choose a shipping method that suits your needs. So we really have three main options. You'll notice that a couple of them are duplicated because we've given you the option of would you like us to ship regular or do you need this right away? We know that when a hatchery needs a part, we want to get it to you as fast as possible. So if you do need something urgently, please select the expedited option and we'll make sure that we ship it the fastest way. Mm -hmm that we can. So again, you can ship uh, to my carrier account, which means we'll be shipping on your, uh, care, your FedEx or UPS, whichever carrier you'd like. Ship best method means that James Way will select the best method based on how your goods are packed. Um, and we'll get that to you either regular or expedited. Or if you'd like, and you're in the area, 
come and see us and <laughs> have, come pick up your goods as well. So you have a customer pickup option as well. Once you have completed that, you will be brought to our final checkout page. Here we obviously would like you to review the order summary and make sure that you have all of the, the parts that you desire on, the, on your order. Um, for to launch with, payment will be processed offline. So most of our U.S. and Canadian customers do tend to pay. Um, they have terms, yeah. They have terms. Net 30. Net 30 terms. Um, and so you will not see any taxes or shipping included either. That's something that we will, a feature that we would like to be uh, adding in the future. But for now, um, we will not be adding the taxes and shipping, but it will appear on your final invoice. Um, yeah, so then you'll just see that payment is going to be processed per your approved term and method. If we do have like a credit card number on account for you, we'll be in touch with you just to make sure that we process that payment before we ship. And you'll see your billing address here as well. Uh, as soon as you hit place order, within 30 seconds, your order will be submitted directly into our ERP system. And this is a really big advantage for you. And the reason for that is because you, it can be after business hours, it can be a weekend, and you can submit an order directly into our system, which means that your order is already creating demand. So as soon as our operations team is back in the office, they're already starting to work on your order. Whereas with our previous process, they would Yes, if I'm out of the office or Ronald's out of the office, we don't see your order until we're back in the office. Right. So, and then we put it into the system, so there's that Yeah, time. and then there's, there's a timeline time, yeah. through the system as well, right? So Correct. essentially, they'll come in and this will be printed for them, ready to go. Right. So to start packing the demand the again, says it's already a demand for those items. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So there's really a great advantage for you to use the online parts ordering system, especially since it's it's done on your time frame, right? So if you know that you need something on a Saturday afternoon, you can submit that order directly on Saturday and we'll start working on it for you. It's 7 a.m. Monday morning, right? <laughs> um, great, so yeah, so enter your order again. The, the parts website is www.jamesweightparts.com. You can use that in the URL or you can, um, again, from jamesbay.com, push that little parts button. Yes. <laughs> as soon as, uh, another thing is that as soon as you submit an order, you will receive an email notification. So the first email will kind of break down a summary of your, of what you've added to your product, the total, um, the quantity, before, the total before um, shipping and handling again, because this will be included on the invoice once we ship. Um, you'll see your billing info, shipping, and order number that you can quote for us. Um, so that's the first email you will get. Then once we have shipped the goods, you will receive an email right away. And this will let you know that uh, shipping number. Again, it'll tell you which product has shipped and in what quantity. Now, one thing that we encourage you to do throughout the order process is to continue logging in to your account so that you can always check and see what the status of your order is. I think I have. So this is an example of one where um, I went into my, my account, I went into my orders, and I've opened up an order. And for this order, you can see that originally I ordered 10 AB 5963s. Um, or five were ordered, sorry, apologize. <laughs> um, we shipped four and then we canceled one. So as you continue coming in and logging in, you will see an order status up in the top left. There's three order statuses. There's pending. Pending is when you have just submitted your order and we have not made any shipments um, on that order. Right. Then we have processing. Processing means that we have made a partial shipment. Um, on your order, or you could be complete, which means that we have fully complete, completed your order and you have received everything. Um, mm -hmm. Or like in this case, when you cancel an item, you want to double check that indeed we did cancel it, that will show up there as well. Exactly. Oh, cool. 
Or um, again, as Pilar said, that it, if you did need to cancel an order, then you would have to um, talk to Pilar or Ronald to do that. You can't do that from the website itself. You'll have to call or email in to cancel an order. And that's a, a fourth a status that if you did cancel an order, then up here it would say canceled. But again, as you log in, um, as we've shipped items, you'll see how many have shipped and so on and so forth. So it's a really great way for you yeah, to... Yeah, that way you don't think that you did that it was missed or something, it's just that it's on back order. Right. Exactly. Right, yeah. Exactly. All right, so that is our parts ordering function. All right. So now I think we're going to show you guys how it looks on mobile, and I have like an archaic iPhone <laughs> 5S, so um, I'm sure it will look nicer on yours, but um, let's see if I can make this happen again. Okay. Right. Sorry, it just has to pick up the computer. As we're waiting for Tori, you know, we do ask you to bear with us in these first few weeks after Rolling launch. <laughs> you know, as more clients start using the site, we may encounter some, some technical things that we didn't see before. So um, if anything isn't working properly, you know, we have done a lot of testing to make sure that it, it is, but please bear with us. And, and please do let us know. We and would yeah, love your feedback on exactly. anything that you would like to see or is not working for you or you would love. Yes, yes. Anything. Yeah. So there we are on the home page of the website. And so you can see a little parts button there. Clicked it. My service is very slow. <laughs> and so right into the website. Um, all the sections uh, nice and vertically lined up. My site map is down here at the bottom if I did want it. Uh, even a call us now button, that's kind of fun. Yes. Um, so that will call right to yeah, so our main switchboard. It won't actually, you have to once you hit it. So it won't make the call immediately. It does give you, it'll show it gives you, you a chance to stop. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then depending on which store you're in, so if you're in the US store, you will be linked to our US number. Right. And if you're in the Canada store, you'll be linked to our Canada. Now, where do I see which store I'm on, actually? So that's a good question. So uh, let's see here. If we go to account. And my test account was a US store test account, so that's probably why. Sorry, just come over here. You scroll down to the bottom. Um, it's under the there change, we go, change language, language, and you'll see the, like the different store. The Canadian lines. store. So that's one of the key things uh, to notice since uh, it's not usually on the web, on the uh, browser version, it's in the top right corner. In the mobile or tablet, you will need to scroll down to the, right bottom, to the bottom to make a change. And then the other key thing, if you scroll up to the top here, you'll notice that if you wanted to find the incubator and hatcher parts, those four categories that are usually up at the top of your browser screen, you can find them there. Log into your account by going to the My Account section. And then this is actually the quote tool. Cool. So one thing that we do recommend that if you're on your phone and you want to create a quote is that you change your screen from a vertical to a horizontal. Uh, actually, if you add a part to the quote, we can demonstrate a little bit better. Let's go shopping. <laughs> Buy some HVAC parts. Maybe. Should I buy? Oh, I would really like a quantum control sensor and control box. Okay, so I guess that shows me blue that I've put it on my quote. Yes. So now if we go over here. So you'll see that if we were in the vertical mode, you wouldn't see the plus plus one. Yeah, you have one. to scroll it to the side. Yeah, you would have to scroll it to the side. So right. if you use it um, in the horizontal view, it's just a little bit easier for you to navigate. Nice. 
But again, all the same functionality that we showed you on the browser version is exactly what you can do on your mobile or tablet device as well. It's just it looks a little bit different so that you know things fit properly yeah. on your screen. Yeah, yeah, it's it's user friendly for the for the size of your screen. Um, and I I mean the one thing that I'm really liking is it seems like the text is larger um, on our website than it is on a lot of other online shopping websites. Um, so yeah, it seems it seems a lot more easy to use. I don't need to wear glasses or anything to to go through and order. Super cool, guys. Yeah, and it's available on all browsers as well. So if you use um, uh, Android Pro or, or Safari, whichever browser that you <clears throat> use, our website is built so that it can function on all of those platforms as well. Right. It's exciting. Okay. So at this point, um, you guys, I think we're pretty much done. So if anyone wanted to throw in any questions you may have, um, I do have a question for everyone uh, in attendance. It, uh, remember in that top left corner, you have your raise hand button. Um, if you could raise your hand if you already have or have signed up for an online account <laughs> while watching this, because I've noticed quite a few of your, uh, your names here have gone to um, using a different browser, which you guys don't normally do, so I'm wondering if maybe people were um, busy signing up right <laughs> while we were chatting. So we have we have two, that's great, thank you. Oh, three, Daryl and Michael and Sam. Um, thank you so much for already signing up, guys. Um, and I know Daryl was pretty excited about this because he called me yesterday to make sure he could get on. So. Yes, thank you, Daryl. We have had a couple orders come in from you um, during the soft launch, so that was really awesome of you to participate in that. So, uh, we have a question from Chris. Um, and so, she's asking how often new products will be added. Oh, that's a great question. So, when we were developing uh, how we were going to move forward with the site, what we did is we did a really extensive analysis of our products that we have been selling most often. So what we did is we found that um, 850 plus parts approximately, those contribute to um, selling up to three times or more. So if you are navigating the product, our product catalog and you find that a part isn't there, that means that we typically don't sell that part. We sell it two times or less. So if you're not finding it there, uh, we are going to be, we already have actually two projects on the way. We have, uh, we're going to be upgrading our HVAC catalog. We've already are underway. We've got pictures starting and, and getting um, information on, on all of those parts. We're going to increase our HVAC catalog. And then I think later customer service will be working on adding even more, yes. even more products that will, that is slotted I think to be happening with over the summer Yes, so as it's well. constant upgrade. Yes, and you know, as our engineering team is improving our products and, um, and making sure that we have the best uh, spare parts for your machines. Um, Pilar is always in the know of any new product that is coming through. So if a part that exists online has become obsolete or has there's an upgrade kit that we should be offering for that, we will also be um, continuously adding, adding them. Those, yes. So yeah. like those are like kind of the ones and twos. But aside from those ones and twos, we do have a, a concentrated effort to add a bulk quantity of parts for yes. all of our categories yes. as well. And we do have some parts as well that will actually be adding um, links back to the website for the instructions yes. on installing that part. Yes, so a retrofit kits. kit, and upgrade kit, um, right. those sort of kits will actually have some little instruction links that you can get there um, rather than us you know, sending you 25 copies of the same instructions printed over and over. We'll make them available oh. online. Oh, yes. right, yeah. Um, another question um, from Chris, she's asking, do all the products have full information and pictures included with them? Yes, yeah, so we really spent a lot of time making sure that our product pages offered a lot of great information. So each of our products, we made sure that we had at least two angles of the product, because we know that for, for some of those products, you need to know what 
the part that connects into the machine looks like, not right. just the front side right. of it. Um, so we wanted to have as much information on what a part looks like. So you'll notice on all the product pages, we have at least two, two or more uh, photos. And then in terms of technical information, we have our resources internally that, you know, if you have been an existing customer with Gene with us, you'll notice on our um, on our orders that we have a like a short description. But what we did is we actually put more information around that description, so more technical detail around it, making it a little bit longer for you and giving you more information as to which machine that specifically right. works for, or what's the purpose of that? What does that part actually do within? Yeah, the it just machine? helps you identify that you were in the correct part. Right. right. Exactly. So we we did a lot of work in making sure that all of that information is there for you. All right. So George has a question um, slash maybe I guess a compliment as well. Uh, he was wondering how we built our website so that it works on all these different browsers. Um, he says it's really a much bigger feat than one might think, and I'm clueless on that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we had a really talented team that we were working with um, at a third party um, who we were partnered with to make sure that we not only were able to service one platform, that we went all the way back actually to Internet Explorer 10, which Internet Explorer nowadays is starting to become an obsolete product. Yeah, not they want you to use that edge thing or Yes. <laughs> So, so all the way back to Internet Explorer, I think it's either 10 or 11, you will be able to use our website on that product. So if you're able to use it on Internet Explorer 10 or 11, then that's already a feed in itself. And then, of course, you're, you can use it on Edge, Chrome. We just made sure that no matter where you're coming from or what type of computer software that you have, that you're able to, to access jamesmainparts.com. Can I be signed in on multiple um, devices at the same time? Like if my maintenance guy has a tablet out with him and he's adding parts, say, in the shop as he uses them up, um, can I also be signed in on my computer and if I refresh, I see what he's added to our cart? That's a good question. Um, I, I believe you can, but actually that's something that I would have to kind of look back okay. and test and, and we can we can. We'll test it. If you if find that you don't, we can always hit your maintenance manager with his own account. That's true, right? Yeah, so, yes. Yeah. Um, then I have a question from Pierre. Um, and he just wants a recap on, uh, he's international. Um, so he, how does he sign in? He signs in through the US, US store, store. Uh, English or Spanish, whichever he wants. Prefers, yes. But he won't have, Pierre, you won't have the cart. You'll just have the quote request the quote function, request. right? Mm -hmm. So the card is only for, um, right now, customers shipping to U.S. addresses or Canadian addresses. Correct. Um, so once I've signed, we've signed him up, the, he has now the option to save his parts into the favorites. Right. Mm -hmm. You won't see any pricing, but he has that, that option of saving the most common parts that his uh, people look at um, right. in the favorites. Right. And you can also, um, as you're creating quotes, in the My Quotes section of your account, you will see a history of history, all the right. quotes that you've, right. you've submitted. So that's another great feature of creating an account when you're an international right. customer. You will also see a, a My Machines section. This is something that's really great for you to provide us some information back to Jamesway. You can um, add all the machines that you have in your hatchery right. so that that way we know um, when, if we you need to call you to talk to you about something, that we already have an idea of what you have in your right. hatchery. Right. And we can um, cater the call towards right. making sure that... Customize it to your Exactly, point. exactly. All right, so what happens if I um, sign up on the U.S. store, but I'm actually Canadian? Um, do I just need to sign up again, or can you guys migrate my account? No, so Polar can actually manage that. Right, I can So you'll it. fix it for me. Yes, and I'll let you, and then I'll remind you to, uh, when you are signing up, to be in the correct store, or else you'll just get a... Yeah, a you'll get that user password problem, is right? Wrong. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, I think we've reached the end of our questions. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us.
Um, in terms of next webinars, I believe we will have a webinar on energy efficiency in your hatchery next month in June. Uh, we're still working on confirming the date with our um, special guest for that, which is our Director of Engineering, Michael Bergeron. So that will be uh, fairly exciting to have him here um, chatting with me. And then I think everyone's favorite uh, in July, I'm going to have all the technicians up here, not the technicians, the technical advisors up here. Um, and so we're going to do another Ask Us Anything. Uh, I see a few names who are on the first Ask Us Anything. Um, so that is, you know, there is no presented material. We are there live to answer any questions you may have on any problems you have in your hatchery. Um, so if anyone would like to send something in in advance on that, um, that's always a great thing because then I can go back and forth with you and get to get all the details that we need so that the guys, Lynette and Jerry, um, Bill and F Philip can all be prepared exactly on what, what's in your hatchery. Um, so the email, as usual, webinars at jamesway.com. Any questions, any comments, any concerns, any hot topics that you think we should cover. Um, of course, jamesway.com slash webinar dash Wednesdays is where you can always find out and register for up upcoming webinars, as well as on our LinkedIn and Twitter and all of those things social media like. So thank you again. Um, and I hope to see all of you signed in on the on the parts website. At yes. The end. Create some thank accounts. You thank you.